Most men want to know what to expect during their vasectomy and want to know how is our vasectomy different than what they can expect from other urologists. Now, although the nuts and bolts of a vasectomy don't really change from one doctor to the next, there are some nuances that you can expect in our office that we believe makes the procedure an overall better experience for our patients. The first thing, of course, is that we offer a single visit vasectomy. You come in with your partner and a driver. You will get a consultation so you know what to expect during the procedure. You will be fully informed before the procedure on how to prepare your scrotum for the vasectomy. After your single visit consultation is performed, we will then put an intravenous catheter into one of your veins if you've chosen to get the in-office IV sedation option. There is no charge to you, and almost immediately you will feel the world swirling and a little bit goofy, making you appreciate the experience even more. We begin the procedure by preparing the scrotum with a cold soap, as well as numbing up the area with an auto-injector that uses a needleless system to direct lidocaine into the skin. We will then make a single incision into the mid part of the scrotum. This single incision approach is unique to only some urologists. Not all will perform a single incision vasectomy. We will then find the left vas deferens, clamp it with a special no scalpel technique, and then clear off the vas deferens of any nerve and vascular tissue. This step is important because it keeps you from having significant post-operative discomfort and pain. Instead of using metal clips, we use a dissolvable stitch. The avoidance of metal clips is an important distinction in our practice from other practices, mainly because when I started the practice, I didn't like the idea of my patients walking around with metal clips for the rest of their lives. I believe that avoiding the use of metal clips leads to a much cleaner operation with less discomfort for you both in the short and long term. After one vas deferens is severed and its end coming from the testicle is tied off, we will then cauterize the end that goes to your prostate. This could be described as a reverse open-ended vasectomy. You may read about the open-ended vasectomy in which nothing is tied off or the vasectomy in which both ends are tied off. We tie off the end from the testicle to avoid the development of a sperm granuloma and we don't tie off the end that goes up to the prostate to avoid nerve entrapment, the development of a neuroma, and post-operative pain that can occur right after the vasectomy. We then proceed to the opposite side, the right side, where the procedure is repeated, being done through the exact same single incision in the mid part of the scrotum. Once complete, the area is inspected for hemostasis or any evidence of bleeding, and then a single dissolvable stitch is placed into the skin to close you up. You can expect the whole procedure to last anywhere between 5 and 12 minutes depending on your anatomy. We will walk you out to your awaiting driver and we will be available all day, all night, all weekend for any questions or problems that you may have. We look forward to taking care of your vasectomy needs.